Hi, this is Monique from Radio Gunk. You probably don't know me, but I run a podcast. And today I was looking around to figure out a way to do a really, really quick um, clip that I could put on Instagram or something like that that had the waveform so that you could see the voice bouncing up and down, put a little graphic of my show, and just do a little preview of what was on YouTube or iTunes or whatever. So I'm crazy looking for something. And everything I found was either that you had to use a service online where you maybe get one free for the month and everything else you have to pay for, or you go to a specific website that has like these really weird kind of visuals, nothing that's really meant for podcasts. So I wanted to do a really quick video to show you how I figured out how to do it and how easy it was to do. So just kind of bear with me a little bit and we will walk through it. So there's a couple of things you'll need for this and this is specifically for MacBooks or for iMacs or Mac minis or whatever. Um, and you need to have a couple of things in order to do it. First thing you need is definitely gonna be iMovie. Uh, second thing is gonna be QuickTime. And the third thing you definitely need is VLC. Really super, super important. Um, Audacity is good to have as well. So what you're gonna do is open up VLC. When you open that up, you're going to drag the track you want into it. Then you're gonna go up to visualizations and you will see that there's four or five different ones that you can choose from. So as I go through them, you'll see like spectrometer or whatever it's called. And there's what that one looks like. Then you scroll down a little bit more. You see the next one. And this is the one I wound up choosing to use. But uh, that has a nice little audio wave to it. Uh, this one's really kind of cool too. This is also really super usable for just a quickie that you want to do. Um, here's the next one. And it's really just kind of like a weird monitoring type. I guess that's really good if you're doing loud music, but mine is vocal only. Then there's something called Goom. Um, this is kind of a weird one. I guess this is also good for like some house music or something like that. I don't really know that you want a logo inside of yours, but that's what that looks like. So the key is to choose one that you like. Um, so here's the one that I chose and this is what we're going to go with and I'm going to start recording it. So in order to record it, what you need to do is open up QuickTime. So you open up QuickTime and you, you know, shape it to the screen, hit record and just record that, that portion of it, save it and then go to iMovies. So when you're in iMovies, oh, really important is that you make yourself a PNG of some sort um, that has a transparency. There's a couple of different uh, things that you can use online that will enable you to do that. But the key to it is that you really want something that will have no background in it and just have your logo. So I dragged both the recording that I did and the uh, now PNG logo into iMovie. Uh, drag the vocal down into the display area and you have to make sure that it's set to fit, which means that you're, um, that you're using the entirety of it and it's, it's not doing anything kind of weird. Then you're gonna go and take your um, PNG. You're also going to do the exact same thing. Uh, so if you just follow along with what I'm doing here, you'll take it, you'll enlarge it, center it, make sure it looks great right in the dead center there. And that should work. Oh, did I do this wrong? Hold on a second. Sorry, first you have to fit it. Um, then check the little box, go back and make sure. All right, make sure that you do picture in picture. Okay, now it's ready to go. 
Uh, so make that kind of large, center it, and it will kind of lay just on top of the audio that you have in the background. Make sure that you drag that PNG so that it fits to the entirety of the length of your movie. And then, voila, that's it. That's all you really need to do. It's going to show you the vocal. It's going to show you um, an audio form. It will show you, you know, whatever it is that you're trying to promote or how you want your screen to look. And you are done. This entire process took me all of like 10 minutes to figure out and then another 15 minutes to do for you guys so that it made sense and it looked right for the show. So make sure that you save your movie. I would save it at the lowest uh, resolution that you possibly can because you really just need it for uh, showing on Instagram or Twitter or something like that. Save it as you wish. And again, like I said, do it at the lowest resolution and uh, it'll be perfectly fine. It's, it's really more than enough for what your purposes are. So save that. It, it, notice that it's really small bites, so it'll totally work for Insta or for Twitter. And just save that and let it roll. And so you're done, really. It, you know, it'll, it'll start saving and you are good to go. Um, I'll put some links down on the bottom for VLC. Hopefully you already have QuickTime and iMovie and you are good to go. So the final product as it wound up turning out is what you're going to see right now. So don't forget to like and subscribe and follow if you want to. If you're interested in anything that has to do with Howard Stern or anything else that we do, like things that go gunk in the night. Have a great night. Thanks so much for listening. Bye. I mean, he would probably do amazing on Cameo right now. Like, yes, he would. Time, oh, yeah. Great point. Think, you know, Phenomenal I don't think that point, it was, uh, something. If you know, High Xavier, Pitch Eric um, is doing that, he's going to get triple what High Pitch Xavier Eric Xavier brought up a, a good one, too. He said, you know, what you should really get into is how Eric the Midget was set up and responsible for Howard going off on Stern Fan Network and leading to it ultimately being shut down.